Okay, an atmospheric river event. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I'm Plenty of moisture coming in from the Pacific right now. I could have sold that better, but but yeah, what's going on? It's okay, you sound very smart. No, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Very smart. Just give that. me those glasses. I'll... <laughs> you want them? <laughs> no. They're not no, doing no, anything no. anyway. I'm just oh, kidding, just kidding. Um, yeah, so we have a lot going on across the area, yeah. at least across the country. The, the majority of the country is going to be dealing with this mega system that's going to be coming on shore here over the next several hours. Moving across the Rockies causing quite an issue for the northern plains, even the eastern Rockies, and then also causing some severe weather activity south, mild conditions leading out ahead of that, and then a lot of cold. So we're going to have quite a week across the lower 48. As it stands right now, we still have a lot of cloud cover dealing with across northeast Ohio. Temperatures today only topped out at about 40 degrees at Cuyahoga County Airport and also Cleveland Hopkins. 41 in downtown is recording right now. 37, you can see there far as Chardon is concerned. Mid to upper 30s, lake temperatures in the upper 40s right now. So this is already telling you if we get any major system coming right across our lake, we are likely to have some lake effect snow events. And I do think that is a high possibility as we get towards Friday and the Saturday of this week. We're coasting right back into the mid to upper 30s for the rest of the evening and likely getting down to near the freezing mark overnight tonight prior to sunrise for you tomorrow. We're going to stick with this north northwest wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. So it's going to be a cold duration type event overnight tonight. Chilly temperatures starting you out on Monday. As far as visibility concerns, we only have Richland County that we're talking about with some mild vis visibility issues down there. Let's package it up for you tonight. Stray rain snow mix is going to be possible. Any sort of precipitation that falls once we get down to near the freezing mark, it could switch over just a little bit. However, I think for the vast majority of Northeast Ohio, this will likely not even be a factor for you waking up for tomorrow morning. But of course, we have to tell you about it. First half of the week, cool, brief area of high pressure. We're going back into the 40s by the time we get to uh, Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. Lots of sunshine expected on Tuesday. Latter half with that system passing overhead, that is definitely going to cause some issues for us here right now. So there's that area of low pressure taking all those snows right into the Northeast and also New England. For the rest of the evening here in your National Design Mark Al by our forecast, we could have a few stray snows far north and east over near Ashtabula and also western Pennsylvania. Once we get into the overnight hours, a little bit of clearing will allow for upper 20s to low 30s. I think we'll hang out near the freezing mark along the lakeside. Pay our threes for Cuyahoga County around 7 a.m. And then we'll stick with the vast majority of the region under cloud cover for tomorrow with high pressure moving back in. That's when we'll start to thin things out once we get closer to dinner time on Monday evening. Here's a big picture on satellite and radar. Tuesday is the day where this storm system really starts to take shape here. Okay, this is going to be a very, very tight level of circulation. Warm, very moist, very turbulent air out ahead of this frontal boundary moving through. This is likely going to be a really, really big day in terms of a severe weather activity Tuesday into Wednesday for the Ozarks and also the mid-Atlantic states by the time we get to Wednesday and Thursday. But this cold snap here will really start to move into northeast Ohio Thursday, Friday, leading into Saturday. Here's the Union Home Mortgage 7 a outlook, okay? So pay attention to Thursday, Friday. We start to switch things over from rain moving to snow. Scattered snows likely as the low is pulling away on Saturday. Come Sunday, I think it's likely going to be the far north and east snow belt region, Lena, that's going to be dealing with some of those lake effect snows. But again, it gets very cold. I'm talking about 20s and perhaps even teens in the overnights. Well, I know some people, my kids, who really are you know anxious for the snow know to really come down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, you know, there could stand a really good chance of very cold and perhaps even a white Christmas for some. Okay, we'll keep watching. Thanks, Jason. You still got two weeks though. I know, right? <laughs>